granite stone 10 inch frying pan. I use this every single day to make my uh, breakfast sausage and scrambled eggs with cheese. Put a little bit of butter in the pan just because I like the flavor of butter. It adds a little bit of healthy fats. Um, but yeah, very, very good pan. You don't necessarily need the butter, but it also does help keep and preserve that non-stick outer coating. It has a very pretty blue to it. As you can see, it is super easy to keep clean. Backside, not so much. You can see it has a decent amount of wear and tear, but still works good. Has the logo and name right there. And let's go cook with this bad boy real quick. All right, so we have our pan heating up now. Just drop the butter in. As you can see, the pan, I literally just turned this on. Um, we have a gas stove, so it tends to heat up a lot quicker. But as you can see, the butter melts very quickly. The pan retains heat very well. Um, I've got my egg and breakfast sausage mixture here. This is three eggs and just some regular old breakfast sausage. So I'm going to whip that up a little bit. Drop that right in the pan. And we'll cook. A pro tip for making very good cheesy eggs, wait until they're pretty much done cooking. Once there's like not too much wetness still, then you add your cheese. So I'm gonna throw my cheese right on in here. Top it off real nicely with cheese. Then you let that cook for about 20, 30 seconds. After 20 or 30 seconds, the cheese will start getting nice and gooey. Um, that way, it is not burnt cheese or anything like that. So, little, uh, breakfast morning tip for you. Mix this around so it actually hits the pan, gets real ooey gooey. Let's see how that's getting nice and gooey. It's not burning or anything right now. And you only want to cook it down a little bit because it'll continue to cook in the bowl. But... I'm going to empty this out and then I'll show you guys how the pan looks without even washing or anything. Nice and non-stick. And you see, not very much egg in it, but I really wanted to. All I really have to do is wipe this out with a paper towel. I'm going to go do that over the sink so I don't get stuff all over the place, but no running water, nothing like that. Just wiping it out with a dry rag. Still has a little bit of stuff in there, um, but if I just ran that underwater, that would come right out. So really awesome pan. Got the 10 inch, and then as you see right there, I also have the 12 inch. Love these pans.